Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to take a lace doily and convert it into a bowl or basket. To do this, you'll need some gloves, as this can get a bit messy. You'll also need a crochet, knitted, or even a tatted doily. You can make one or find one at yard sales or a local store. Any size will work, from the smallest coaster-sized one to the large centerpiece type. You can use a fabric stiffener product, or I like to use regular glue and water. I oftentimes get asked if you should use a school glue or the PVA type of glue. I find the school glue can wash out a bit, while the glue all product is stronger and a bit more resistant to any water contact once dried. For every doily, I use about three ounces of glue in a plastic container. And then in the past, you were to use three ounces of water. But I try to lower the water amount to two ounces at first, then add another ounce if absolutely needed. Stir the mixture and try to get it so it's not too thin nor too thick. Then find a bunch of containers that might work around the house. Cups, bowls, baskets, margarine tubs, even pots and pans might work. For this little doily, I find that a regular cup or glass works just fine. Test each doily out, of course, and see if it fits around the object you selected. Since we're dealing with messy glue and water, I try to use containers that can be recycled or even can be reused for future craft projects. Next, I take some plastic wrap and cover my bowl or cup with it. This plastic serves two purposes. It protects the object you are covering with it, and it allows you to easily release the doily from the object once dried. Now it's time to take the doily and place it into the glue and water mixture. You will want to completely saturate this doily. I generally do not wring the doily out. It's okay if it drips a bit and is really soaked with the mixture. Just ensure there's no glue lumps or clumps anywhere. Then place the doily on the plastic wrap covered bowl. I like to ensure everything is neat and tidy. And if you have a bit of mixture left over, I do like to pour it on top of the doily, which in the end will be the base or bottom that sits on the countertop. A little extra mixture will help hold things better. Smooth everything out and then let it dry for about 24 hours. If your doily hangs over the edge of the bowl a bit, I take a tall wipe container and place it under my bowl to elevate it so the edges of the doily don't get damaged by the table. Once the 24 hours is up, Check to see if the doily is dry. If you have a more humid environment, it might take longer. Carefully run your fingers underneath the doily to pry it away from the plastic wrap. It will definitely come off the bowl. It might take just a little patience at first. Once you remove it, this doily bowl is a nice size and is pretty sturdy as you can see. And that's it. That's how I convert a lace doily into a bowl or a basket. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified of new videos from me each week. And if you liked the video you just watched, be sure to check out my next video, which I think you'll like very much.